Come in. Oh, good morning, Timmy. Well, good morning, Mr. Smith. Well, yes, this place was good morning, Mr. Smith. I haven't got time for the morning. Mm, I can do it. You want to discuss something, I believe? Yes, I think you know what I'm here for. I don't think so. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me what you told your mother last night. The um, sexual intercourse can often bring about pregnancy in the other female. Yes. Well, you heard that, did you? Yes. Well, I'd like an explanation if it's not too much problem. <laughs> an explanation of how my son came to be using language like that in front of his mother. Well, you know, it's something that you may learn to use my unit class. It's in the right thing. Yes, sir. Um, well, I guess I thought so with Mr. Hand. Uh, let to see if someone would sink in to me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, I must say, this is a turn up and no mistake. What is it? Oh, uh, I didn't imagine to be quite so bare-faced about it. About what? Well, I came here today to make a complaint about my son being exposed to gutter language in the playground. And I'm frankly sad about that this is something that he's actually been taught in a classroom. I mean, what's wrong with that? I'm um, trying to teach your son. Oh, are you? Are you indeed? Yes. What? How to embarrass his parents? How to smack himself with heroin? I assure you. You go <laughs> yourself at school? Well, you don't actually go myself at school, no. Well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, feeling a young man's head with feel like that. Let me tell you something about the real world. You are here to provide a service. Yeah, quite right. Quite right, yes. Well, I'm not happy with the service you're providing. Uh, <laughs> 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 so then it would. If those are the kinds of lies I could expect to hear repeated at the dinner table. Dinner? <laughs> 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 oh, are they? So pregnancy is brought about by sexual intercourse? Yes. Oh, Lord, so you agree with that? Of course, it's true. True, they are. It's nothing more. It's disgusting. We're talking about very trendy young people in the 60s. Trendy young people in their 60s? In that 60s. In that 60s. That's where it all started. People like you. Mr. Smear, sexual reproduction has been part of the biology syllabus for many years. I don't care about your blasted syllabus. What good is a blasted syllabus out there? Out where? There. Brazil, I mean. Brazil, jungle, I call it. <laughs> what would you rather we talk your son, Mr. Smear? Well, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather you talk to him in uh, values, Mr. Cassini. Cassini. <laughs> values. Decency. Standards. Respect. You're not here to poison my son with random sex talk. Uh, so definitely, Timmy is your son, isn't he? Certainly. Uh, then it's safe to assume that at some stage you and your wife have had sexual intercourse. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna knock some sense into you myself. You're going to find it now, are you? Yes, I bloody well am. I'm not gonna stand for this. Uh, do you mind if I do? Oh, talking like that in front of a boy. You're a bloody disgrace. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, how could Timmy be your son if you haven't had sexual intercourse? Timmy? Yes. Well, he's my son of the normal way. <laughs> yes. Uh, and what is the normal way to have a son in your life? You're trying to trick me into sex No, I'm not. Well, the normal way to have a son is uh, to get married. Yes. Buy a house, get properly settled in. Yes. Furniture and so on, and then just wait for it. Ah. Oh, that's really probably. Three hot meals a day. Uh, so you told me to turned out with you? Well, it's a few years ago, yeah, but one day he was just there. And you provide the enjoy the sexual intimacy of Yes, right? It's very hard for you to believe, isn't it? It's very hard for you to believe that there are still some people out there who can bring a son into this world without recourse to cannabis or government handouts, isn't it? Well, I don't really know what to say. I bet you don't. It's not every day a consumer stands up and makes such demands, is it? None of this nature, no. Well, welcome to the harsh realities of the marketplace, Mr. Gasoline Walk. Okay, well, what would you like me to do? Well, for example, if I go to McDonald's and I don't like the hamburger they're given to me, they'll just change it and gladly. You want another son? Certainly, <laughs> mine is sorry. Ah, well, I'm afraid uh, we haven't got any first sons here at the moment. Well, what if you got an equal value then? Um, there are some rabbits out there by your gene lab. Um, rabbits? Do I have your assurance that these rabbits will not embarrass Mistress Mia with foul language at the dinner table? Huh? <laughs> well, so that's something. Oh, how many of them are there? Um, two at the moment. What do you mean at the moment? Um, well, it's just that these uh, rabbits are married, they bought the food, and have some furniture, and they're having three meals a day. Hot meals? Yeah. <laughs> it seems to assume that uh, Mistress Mia might be a grandmother one day. Mm, very possibly. Mm, she'd like that. 